Okay, I'm back on my solar panels. It's still Wednesday, the 17th of August, 2011. It's uh, 5.40 in the afternoon. Uh, we just had a sprinkle for about 25-30 oh, minutes. Not very heavy rain, just regular shower from the, in summer. And uh, I'm going to retest this again, trying to uh, uh, prove uh, my point that you know I'm not uh, spiking anything or doing anything wrong. So here's my paper towel. I'm going to place it on top of the Geiger counter. Okay, it's not going crazy in any way, shape, or form. Okay, just regular background. Let's check uh, the cement, the cinder block here. It might be slightly elevated. Yeah. So it absorbed a little bit on the surface, and because normally these blocks are just background, they're not uh, radioactive at all. So with the rain that fell directly on them, they absorbed a little bit of radiation. Okay, so let's wipe. So this is how I do this. Okay. An S motion or whatever. Or back and forth, everything works. Like I said, I don't do the full panel because I can't quite reach. And the last thing I want is to fall on the panels and break them. Now this is a panel I've been wiping all the time, so it tends to be cleaner than the other ones. I used to do all eight and then I just got tired of doing that. and It's just too much work, just to get an idea. Usually if there is a problem, I know right away just by checking the hot spots where the water uh, drips off the roof. Okay, so not terribly dirty, maybe a, better, a bit of bird, bird poop. I can't speak today, what the hell's wrong with me? Okay, so let me just uh, take the probe, flip it up. Amazing how, how many things you gotta hold with your hand. So, not terribly radioactive today, but Yeah, we got what, about 500 counts a minute? Oh, 600? Yeah, we're pegging, they're almost pegging the needle. So that's nothing like compared to what we had on, Sat on Sunday, on the 14th. But, you know, it's still respectable. Now, if I remove the paper towel, it goes right back down. Okay. I bring the paper towel again, back into the field of view. Goes up. Takes a little while for the uh, needle, the circuitry, to integrate uh, the pulses and average it out. See, we're pegging the needle, so we're probably, I don't know, six, seven hundred counts. So now I went to the, the next scale up, which is times ten. So whatever we read here on the bottom scale, it's going to be times ten. So we got, oh, eight, nine hundred. Now that's something I've noticed. Uh, you tend to get. Uh, at first a low, uh, a low reading, and then uh, a few minutes later it starts picking up. So it looks like you have different isotopes here just uh, disintegrating. And they have different uh, disintegration times. So it's not a, a really linear decay, but this is going to decay probably in... Okay, well, I'm not holding this right, because now it went down again. Well, you know, you can average it out. I mean, you know, I'm happy saying it's 600. I'm not going to squabble over, you know, a few hundred counts per minute at this point. Sometimes at these low levels, it depends how you place the paper towel. If it's not quite over the sensitive area, you lose a little bit of counts. You know, big deal. But here, I remove it again. It goes back down again. Okay. It's no trick. Okay, here's the other thing we're going to do. We're going to go to another panel that has not been wiped ever for many weeks. I'm just going to put the probe against the panel. We're going to see a slightly elevated background, but not really. I mean, it, it's sometimes it's like 100, 150, 
I've seen up to 250, 300. Okay. So you can tell that there's radioactivity there, but it's all spread out over the panel, over the glass. And what I'm doing with the paper towel, I'm just all concentrating it and collecting it. So people who's, who are going around with their uh, Geiger counters and just uh, measuring, you know, like this, just putting the wand to a surface, it doesn't look very radioactive. It looks, you know, well, it's no big deal. Well, when you wipe it, you concentrate it all, the whole surface area, you concentrate it all into one little area that the Geiger tube can pick up, and then you start seeing really interesting counts. But, I mean, the radioactivity is there. It's coming from the sky. The panels were not radioactive before. And then it's going to decay. In several hours, it'll be impossible to detect anything above background. And the decay rate I've measured, it varies from rainfall to rainfall. It's anywhere between 33, 45 minutes. There was a one time it was, it was 50 minutes, but in all honesty, I just uh, lost track uh, of time and I had to guesstimate uh, plus minus a few minutes. So I could have been off. So I'm just trying different spots here. Let's try this other cinder block here. Yeah, that's about 150, give or take, yeah, 200. And it, instead of the solar panels, if I were to use uh, the hood of the car or something like that, it would do exactly the same thing. So there you have it.